Hello, chill computer guy. Today we're in Bitwig 2.3.2. Uh, we're doing a series of very, very quick, simple uh, organizational tips here. This is the first one having to do with mixed channels and clip colors and how they relate to one another. Also, a special technique for assigning the default color. Now, Bitwig Studio does not have a way to assign a default color, or a default clip color, if you will, or a default mixed channel color. And uh, so basically every time you create an instrument, an audio effect, or a group channel, it's going to automatically assign it a color. Every track you add will assign a different color. And basically these colors are just cycling through right here. But something that's really great is if you hit Control-A, you select them all. If you click on this lower right kind of etched square here, it's going to set everything to this middle gray color. Now that's something that, like I say, you can't really set that in preferences, but by default, the middle gray is perfect because middle gray to me thinks of, it just tells me it's, a, it's kind of a dormant idea, a dormant track, something that's not front and center as far as production is concerned. So let's click on that and you can see, look at that, it turns everything to middle gray. Uh, let's control Z that. Now also, when you create a clip, um, it's going to share the same color as the mix channel. So that's something that's very, very important to note. Now, again, if you hit Control A and you switch all these to this uh, to the lower right middle gray again, it will also switch the MIDI clips. But something that's worth noting is, let's say you have a bunch of MIDI clips in here. Let's say you manually switch the color of one, okay? Let's say this MIDI clip is super important to you, so you manually changed it to your favorite color. Now, if you go into Control A here, and then you go back into this default, the lower right default, it will not switch that clip. And what makes this powerful is maybe you're putting your MIDI information together and everything's just kind of so-so, but once in a while you find a clip that's really, really working, you can actually manually switch the color of that. And then when you go and switch, let's say your mix channel, let's say you've decided this second channel is going to be bass, you turn all your bass tracks blue, you click on the blue, it's going to switch the mix channel and switch all the clips, all the new clips. But it will keep the one you manually changed, the color you changed it to. You know, for example, let's say, let's switch this to like a green color here. Again, it switches the mix channel and all the MIDI clips, but it keeps the one you manually changed, the color you changed it. So that's super uh, important to understand. Now, one more quick little thing is let's, uh, let's switch all these MIDI channels to... So you got four different colors here. If you lasso those MIDI clips and then you click down into the lower right, the etched square, the default square, I call it, it's going to switch all these MIDI clips to whatever chant, whatever color the MIDI lane is. Okay, so this is a really quick way to organize your colors here in Bitwig Studio. Again, if you select the uh, mix channels and then use the lower right etched square, it's going to set default middle gray. But if you actually lasso your MIDI clips, use the lower right etched square it's going to switch them to the same color as the mix channel. Now this is the same behavior for instrument, audio, uh, group channels, effects, all this, it's, all the mix channels are gonna have the same behavior here. So it's very important to understand, you know, if you set the default on the mix channel, it's gonna set you that middle gray. If you set the default on the clips, it's gonna match them to whatever color your mix channel is. And then once you manually switch the color of a clip, and then you switch your, uh, your mix channels, it will not touch that clip that you manually changed. So that's super important to understand. That's the question. The question is, what is this thing? What does this lower right thing do? Well, that's what it does. On your mix channels, it's going to turn it to the middle gray. On your actual clips, it's going to switch them to whatever color your mix channel is. That's what it does. Very, very handy tool. Very, very quick uh, way to, to organize your stuff. So that's what that does. Anyway, Chill Computer Guy, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. Give me a thumbs up. We're going to have many more of these super quick Bitwig tips coming up. Uh, there's tons of these little quick little, I call them kind of caveats with Bitwig Studio that you must understand that make uh, organization and working on your tracks a lot easier. So like I say, these tips aren't for beginners, they're not for experts, they're for everybody. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Chill Computer Guy, we'll see you guys again. Bye-bye now.